Hello everyone, welcome to this smart life. Today I have a Xiaomi router for you and this is the Xiaomi router 4C. I bought this router to use it as an extender, a Wi-Fi extender and this router is only 2.4 GHz. It does not have any 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. I already have this uh, Xiaomi router mini and I'm already using it as a uh, my nas as well as my main wi-fi router in this location uh, this wi-fi router has uh, 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz wi-fi and it is 1.2 gigabits per second maximum speed i want to extend the wi-fi range of my old router because it has only two antennas and it doesn't have a very good coverage over my location that is the main purpose i bought this in today's video and i'll show you how to use this uh, xiaomi router 4c as a wi-fi extender there are many wi-fi extenders available online and even xiaomi also sells the wi-fi extender pro or the usb wi-fi extender the reason i choose this uh, wi-fi router as a uh, to be used for the extender purpose is because it has four antennas and it has more coverage and two antennas are for receiving and two antennas are for transmitting and the available xiaomi wi-fi extenders are very low powered and it is very small and the usb powered one is not very powerful the wi-fi extender pro is quite okay but it has only two antennas and it is also very small and i don't think it can cover much area so that is the main reason i bought this one and it has been released in uh, several countries including in india another reason is the price the price of this router is similar to the wi-fi extender pro from xiaomi and but the extender pro is only useful for uh, being a uh, extender but in this case it's multi-purpose later i can use it as a wi-fi router or i can use it as a wi-fi extender using the mi router app so i'll unbox and show you what is there inside and i'll show you the setup for a wi-fi extender so these are the contents so inside it is very nicely packed the wi-fi router looks like this it is quite small but the antennas are quite long that's why the box is quite big this is the wi-fi router 4c and it comes with the power adapter this is a 5 volt adapter of 1 amperes and it comes with the user manual everything is in chinese so it is of no use so in order to set up the wi-fi router as a wi-fi extender all you need to do is just connect to the power i'll be using it as an extender using the existing wi-fi network without any uh, connection to the rj45 or the lan cable so let's try to power it up so now it's powering up so it has a power indicator here and uh, there's another led i suppose which indicates the internet availability so wh while it's powering up let's go to the mi router app so this is the mi router app so you need to have a xiaomi account mi account in order to access this currently it is connected to my old router which is the xiaomi mini router and uh, as you can see these are the connections and i already have uh, three routers available in my account because i have three wi-fi routers from xiaomi in different locations and in here you want to add a new router you can click add router so now it's scanning for router so now it has detected the new router it says xiaomi and some code that is the this router because there is only one new router around here so let's go to setup so you can choose to restore settings from another router or you can set up as a new router so you can continue so we need to connect to this new router so there are three options now one is the primary base station and one is the wireless repeater mode and wired repeater mode so you this router will support two modes in repeater one is the wireless repeater mode means that it's going to connect to my existing router network and then it will repeat the same existing router network to extend the range of the wi-fi and the wired repeater mode will be you connect the new router using the lan cable or the ethernet via the inter ethernet to the existing network of my home and then you can repeat it using a wired repeater or a primary base station is the standard setup where you just uh, plug in a internet ethernet cable and then it will just make the ethernet cable into a wi-fi station so i'll be using the wireless repeater mode in this case but you can also repeat using the wire repeater if you have a LAN cable 
instead of a Wi-Fi router. So we have to select the Wi-Fi network here. So these are the available Wi-Fi networks in my area. So just select the one which we have. We have to enter the password. Let's enter the password. So now the password is entered. This password is the Wi-Fi password of the existing network. Now it is setting up the Wi-Fi router as a repeater and is pairing and now it is connected so now you can see that my phone is connected to this router and we can also check the speed let's check the speed so this is the speed of my network through my new Wi-Fi router we have the extension so it is quite good so this is how we connect uh, the Wi-Fi router as a repeater so this is multi-purpose so and it has multiple antennas it's better to go for the router 4c instead of, instead of buying a, a wi-fi repeater a dedicated wi-fi repeater so that is the case in the future you may want to change it to another mode like the base station mode or a wired repeater mode so in that case uh, you can also try to change it uh, using the app the easiest way will be using a sim ejector tool and then you can try to reset it so just click the reset button using uh, the sim ejector tool for 5 seconds and then now it turns yellow as you can see here once it turns yellow then you can try to pair it again using your same app and you can connect it as a wi-fi base station i will show you how to do that we go to the me router app again so currently it's connected to my old router and we can set up this router using an add router because you have already reset it so you can add as a new router again so that is the easiest way to do change the modes so it is searching again for a new router so now it has found the new router go to setup and you can add it as a new router continue this is similar to the previous steps so now it shows the three options again the primary base station the wireless repeater mode or the wired mode so now let's connect to the primary base station mode go to primary base station and then it's also telling you to connect to the ethernet cable so let's connect the ethernet cable ethernet cable is to be connected to this blue port it says internet so now it's connected as you can see this led is now lit means that it is connected so now we can click this option since it is connected so now internet connection is detected because the ethernet is connected so go to next and you have to name a Wi-Fi router the name of the Wi-Fi network you can set a name and you can set uh, the router admin password as the same password of the Wi-Fi if you want otherwise you can set a Wi-Fi admin password separately so I'll do that now so now I've entered the password so now it's that's done the connection and now it's blinking so it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi router You, have to, you may have to manually connect because there is a password so okay now it's connected so sometimes you may have to connect manually so now it's connected and as you can see this is a base station now and you can also check the speed it says now 2.69 mbps the previously it was telling 2 mbps previously it was in a repeater mode now this is the base station so we have more speed so that is it so it is better to buy a wire wireless router like this from xiaomi and then use it as a wi-fi repeater instead of buying a wi-fi repeater itself so another thing is that you can also set the name of the wi-fi network same as your base station wi-fi network the advantage is that they will give you uh, wi-fi roaming capabilities like you don't have to connect to multiple networks it will directly switch from one network to another network if the na name is the same so there is uh, another advantage of having a wireless repeater with the same name as your base station so you can set the name of the Wi-Fi through the app, go to plugins and go to settings and you go to Wi-Fi settings. So in the Wi-Fi setting, you can change the name of the Wi-Fi. So if you set the name of the Wi-Fi of your repeating network as the same as your base station network, then there is Wi-Fi roaming and you also need to set the same password as your base station Wi-Fi password. So these are the things that I want to share to you and that is it for today. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.